Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at the Yamaha CK61. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to do this early and pop it out later. I've got in front of me here a Yamaha CK61 stage keyboard clavier fantastic and what i thought i'd do is get it out of the box and see what it looks like first impressions and what have you and then later on we'll have a play of it too side note it's got a bit of an organ sound in it as well and we want to have a look at that don't we see what it's like now i've popped up to my local music shop this afternoon a place called fair deal music in birmingham in the uk and i was talking to the owner uh, mentioned little gaz and um he said, well, why don't you borrow one and have a look at it and have a play? So I said, well, what a great idea. Uh, I'll have two. So I've got a couple of instruments uh, from him, and I thought I'd get them out for you, and we could do a bit of a review and a bit of a road test. We could pit them uh, unfairly against a C3 and an XK5, but we can hear what it sounds like, DI, what a Leslie Sims like, what the draw bars like, and what it's like in a Leslie uh, 3300. Additionally, of course, piano sounds and synth sound so is this the kind of the sk is this the hammond sk competitor is it the red keyboard competitor i don't know uh, i probably know about as much as you about it maybe even a bit less but we will learn together and we will find out so without further ado let's have a bit of a go and see what's inside so i've ripped it, i've ripped it open obviously um save the scissors don't run with them will you whatever you do let's have a look what we get for your dollar right so might not be a bad idea if i pop that down there and we can use this as a workbench come plinth can't we right so let's have a bit of a look at it Right, there we go. Pop that over there out of shot. So, let's get over here. What do we see? Well, okay, nice and small. It's meant to be a stage instrument, right? So that, that makes sense. Very portable these days. I was chatting to a guy. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name when I did the Hammond UK event. And uh, his problem was getting around London with all the equipment and the congestion charge and all those other things. So, the, you know, the more portable and expansive in in tonal range and, and quality the better really for him so that's it. that was an interesting that was an interesting point so here we are then uh, 61 of course ck61 because it's 61 they do i noticed they do an 88 with uh, uh hammer fall you know with the uh, weighted keys so we'll have a quick look through and then maybe tomorrow we'll have a little play of the fella and see what it looks like so everything you'd expect to see i suppose so you got a pitch bend and uh, modulation then you've got it looks like a hammond section a general sort of messing about section <laughs> and some filters and eqs and effects and what have you and an equalizer i like that i remember the um the korg sv1 had that kind of left to right feel about it do you remember that one where the sound came in for the left and was processed all the way down and went out again kind of works nicely i think so uh, and that may be the, the standard standard bearer for stage these days, I guess. Looking at it then, what can, what can you see? Well, master, master volume, lovely transpose octave. I presume that's uh, steps and that's octave. So I'll have a look at that later. They've got the Leslie stop, rotary, fast, slow, nice and out of the way, which I kind of like. And then you can see they've got the vibrato and the chorus there. Percussion two, lovely, soft, fast, third and second, and organ footage, in footage, I, can't, I like that. Uh, so we've got these, these like little drawbars, aren't they? That's, that's not bad, that's not bad really, it has, has, has a good feel to it. And you can, you can approximate, you know, what you would do on a, on a Hammond like that. Yeah, I could see that, I could see that, I could see the blues like that. So that, that's interesting, so it's a nice way of doing that. A little bit shorter to travel but let's see how later on how you know effective that is really over here right it looks to me like there are some programmable faders on off on off abc so that would make sense some live recall 
settings, which, you'd really, which are really useful. There are only eight, ah, but there is a page button, so I guess you could page up, page down, which is quite nice. Split, split point, exactly what you like. And then you've got categories, right. So this is where the expansion of the sound comes in, I would say. Piano, electric piano, organ, brass wind, guitar bass, strings, pad. We want to see Jupiters in there, don't we? Lead, Kruh perk. Mm. Okay, we'll work on that. Chorus perk, percussion, and others. And then you've got a type here uh, as well, mono, unison, so that, that works well too. And then some basics, uh, very, very small screen. Let's see if you need that on a stage instrument. I suppose the argument is that you don't really want to fiddle around too much on that. All the work's done beforehand, isn't it? And some up, downs, enters, and what have you. Then moving over here, there are some filters, which is always good to see. So presumably you've got a cut off and resonance. I mean, there are many more filters, you know, but that's kind of that. Oh, you've got attack and release as well. That's good. Okay, so you've got the, the main ones that you want there. That will work nicely with the, uh, the, um, the lead sounds and maybe the pad sounds as well. Possibly the strings to an extent. That's good to see, I think. Overdrive, lovely, right, distortion, rotary, A, B, and comp. So you've got an overdrive setting, the distortion setting, a couple of Leslie simulator set drive settings, perhaps, and some comp, I would say, that's probably compression. And you've got, a, you've got effects as well, you've got quite a few there. Chorus, flanger, phaser, rotary, distortion, compression, EQ, wah, delay, reverb, and other. And you've got a depth and a rate and a type setting. With, it looks like you can have two effects there. And finally over here you've got a delay as well on the end. So it's kind of set up for how the Korg SV1 went, if you recall, and it's basically got the same things. There's the, the Legend Piano as well, which I'm looking to review a bit later on in the year. That's got these, a bit more modular, isn't it? But it's got those elements that you can put on in a, in a, in a live uh, stage setting. So that's really interesting. Then at the, at the end here, you've got low, mid, high EQ. I think if you're you're messing with those, you really are, you're really chasing it a little bit there, but sometimes it's useful. I think if you, if you find yourself uh, EQing, Master EQing the whole keyboard, really there's something down the chain that you, you might experience that you probably need to deal with a little bit. And then, oh look, you've got a reverb and a type as well. And presumably the type there will be reflected in there. So as a, as a live layout, I think that's pretty good. I'm really interested to see what this sounds like now, aren't you? Keys are good. I'll put a bit. Very good, nice, and th but it feels slightly compact, slightly thin perhaps, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to have a look at that, but the keys feel nice too. What have we got on the other side then? It's always good to have a look on the other side. Let's break on through, so we've got a very nice logo. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? USB to device, USB to host, as you'd expect. Media in, out, no through, but you, these days, speakers on, off. Speakers, oh, look at that. <laughs> you see that? So there's, you've got speakers there as well. That's nice, that's nice little touch considering, so you good for rehearsal what have you. Foot pedals, yes. Left, right, uh, gain trim pot, which is nice. Uh, that's input, absolutely, right, that would make sense, a bit more sense. And uh, the left and right mono out. Just looking, is it a kind of thing that has batteries? It might be. I'll have a look in the manual there and see what these things are. And that there, right. Okay, so that's what we've got. That's the first look at the CK61. The CK88 is uh, the same all round, but with more keys and more weighted. But I chose this one because if I'm going to look at organ sounds, and remember it does piano sounds and all the other things, if I'm going to look at organ sounds at any point, really, those weighted keys are not for that. Remember, don't, don't, try, that at, don't try that at home if you're on weighted keys because it's going to hurt you. Okay. There you go, quick look at that. Let's unbox it, switch it on, stick it on top of the world's most expensive organ stand, uh, my Hammond XK5, plug it in, and we'll have a bit of a listen to it. How's that sound? Superb. <laughs> 